explain how nano science and nano technology have revolutionized modern technology so uh, let us see uh, the different types of applications and uh, about nano technology in order to attempt this question so what is nano technology as i said dna dna multiplied by 1000 times is a bacterium a bacterium multiplied by 1000 times is a raindrop A nanotechnology is the manipulation of a matter of a near atomic scale to produce new structures, materials, and devices. This technology promises scientific advancement. How in the field of medicine, consumer products, energy, material, and manufacturing. Why have I used this to give you an idea how small a DNA is, and I use nanotechnology for the manipulation of this DNA. all right so can i say that even the tools that i use for manipulation of dna etc are nothing but an example of nanotechnology whatever robotic surgeries that you have now right you have different types of robotic surgeries those robotic equipments are nothing but are the perfect blend of biotechnology in the form of bionics nanotechnology and information and communication technology so all of these blend together in order for me to teach you ict and nanotech i need to teach you the previous technologies so that i can simply come for the application part so uh, nanotechnology basically refers to engineered structures basically refers to the engineered structures devices and systems you need to have these uh, definitions for your mains because in mains as i told you in the mains answer writing the introduction one of the finest ways of writing introduction is to define it so what is nanotechnology it refers to engineered structures engineered structures for example this is a single walled carbon nanotube multiply it into 1 lakh times is the strand of the hair so i can can you imagine how small a carbon nanotube is how small a carbon nanotube is that if i multiply a single walled carbon nanotube to the 1 lakh times then it is as thick as a single strand of your hair right so uh, basically nano materials have the length scale between 1 and 100 nanometers and at this size materials this is important materials begin to exhibit unique properties that affect the physical chemical and biological behavior so when any material is reduced to nano scale it starts behaving differently right is it also applicable with respect to temperature is it true that in order to achieve superconductivity i need to manipulate temperature so whenever whenever you change the state of matter reduce it to a certain uh, you know size it starts behaving differently so what is a nanometer a nanometer is the unit of length in the metric system it is a unit of length in the metric system which is equal to 1 billionth of meter which is 10 raised to the power 9 which is a billionth technology what is nanotechnology technology is the making usage of this knowledge usage and knowledge of tools machines and techniques in order to solve a problem so what is a nano scale it is a dimension between 1 and 100 nanometer these are the basic definitions about nanotechnology if you want very quickly take a screenshot of this so i think a lot of people know about this guy who is richard feynman richard feynman is known for his quotes right he is he is very famous in the science world he is basically a physicist he is from caltech he is a very renowned person is known for his lectures for his uh, life changing motivational quotes etc so uh, he is the person who's considered as the father of nanotechnology he is a nobel prize winner also he simply described that you know a vision of using machines to construct smaller machines and down to a molecular level for the first time he said something called as it is much more deeper at the bottom so that is uh, do not believe that the uh, smallest scale that you have right now is the uh, you know rock bottom there is so much more which has to be dealt with when it comes to the bottom of a scale or the miniaturization of the scale all right so richard feynman was the person who is known as the 
father of nanotechnology. Now, how are nanomaterials produced? Nanomaterials kaise banenge? Bhai simple. If I want to create something at a nano scale, one is top down approach. One is top down approach. What is a top down approach? Top down approach is that I reduce something to the nano scale. I cut it down to the nano scale at the atomic level. Second is I take much much smaller objects or much much smaller atoms and molecules and bring it to the nano scale. Which one do you think will be easier? The top down or the bottom up? Which will be the easier one? The easier one is the top down approach. The easier one is the top down approach. All right. Uh, why? Because I already have materials which I know have certain properties. Whereas here I can um, at max make aerosol, sol, gels, precipitation processes, etc. So it is much easy. This is mostly used. Whereas the bottom up approach is something which is not much used. So if you want, you can take this down. Although not necessary for your exam, you should simply know there are two things that is a top down and a bottom up approach. All right, what is a top down approach? Uh, it involves breaking down of bulk material into nano size. All right. Then I have the bottom up. In bottom up approach, you refer to build up material from atom by atom, molecule by molecule, cluster by cluster, such as uh, nano powders, etc.